I think I know most people here. I'm Jeff Crane, president of the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation. Uh, I want to thank all of you for sponsoring and supporting the things that we do. Uh, I got the coolest job around. I get to work with a bipartisan caucus of people that share the same values uh, and care about the outdoors the same way I do uh, and all of you. And we're going to hear from a, a, a couple of them right in, in a, just a couple of minutes. Um, I do need to just uh, thank a few of uh, our uh, sponsors for tonight. Our VIP reception sponsors are Safari Club International, uh, which we'll hear from in just a minute, and Ford and King Ranch. Uh, thank them. Please join me in thanking them. Very importantly, our bar sponsors tonight are Altria, Anheuser-Busch, Diageo, and the Wine and Spirit Wholesalers. Thank you for making sure that uh, the spirits are flowing over there. and Hopefully that will continue into the auction and loosen up some wallets. So, um, in keeping things moving right along, it's uh, my pleasure to introduce our chairman of the board. Uh, he is certainly no stranger to this community. Uh, he's been around and involved in it in a long time. Uh, Mark DeYoung is also the CEO, President and CEO of Vista Outdoors. Uh, and Vista, I think a lot of people know by all the products because it's the largest integrated outdoor sporting product company in the United States, probably in the world, I'll let Mark tell you. Uh, but they have products like Federal Ammunition, Weaver, Bushnell, Primos, uh, and then they've got things like Camelback and Bell Helmets and, and on Camp Chef, I think, that's something that, uh, that they've added to their portfolio. So, uh, um, but more importantly, Mark spends a lot of time outdoors uh, and is an avid sportsman. Uh, he enjoys time with his sons and he can tell you a little more about that. But uh, he's done a great job uh, leading our board of directors. Uh, like most C3s, it's a, it's a voluntary board and we really appreciate it. So Mark, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. So it's been my pleasure to be part of CSF now for many years. Uh, I wasn't this great, I wasn't this bald when I started, but it has nothing to do with Jeff or CSF. It has more to do with this outdoor. But uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and it's uh, something I feel very personal about is conservation and personal about legislation which threatens uh, our way of life and our traditions of hunting and fishing and trapping and. As Jeff mentioned, I was fortunate enough to spend two weeks of August with my sons in Alaska this year on a caribou hunt, which we filmed for a TV show and also on a semi-annual fishing trip where we go to Alaska every other year to fish. And getting my sons out and doing that is critically important to me. I think it's important we bring up that next generation of anglers and hunters and conservationists, more importantly. And so it's a pleasure for Vista to participate as part of this event. It's a pleasure for me to have been able to serve as chairman of the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation for the last two years. I'll round out my term here at the end of this uh, calendar year and leave that to someone much more capable than myself to continue on. But it's been a pleasure to serve here and it's a pleasure to serve with all of you. As you know, the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation has been around about 27 years. Uh, Lindsay Thomas is here. Lindsay, raise your hand, please. Uh, Lindsay is one of the founders. Lindsay was one of the founders when he served uh, here uh, as a representative, and uh, we appreciate that heritage which you started 27 years ago. Lindsay, I don't know if you and your fellow members knew what you were launching, um, but we have turned into an organization which is the largest caucus in the Congress with 300 members. Uh, we have 38 governors that have joined the governors. Uh, we have uh, 300 legislators around the country that are involved in state level uh, caucuses, working legislative issues in the states, all in an effort to protect this wonderful heritage that we have in the outdoors. And uh, I would just like to thank all of you for being here. Uh, it's fantastic to have you with us. Those who joined me at the chairman's uh, luncheon today, we had a great event. It was the largest chairman's luncheon we have ever hosted, and I appreciate those of you who could come, and those of you who are members of the chairman's club. If you're not, I encourage you to look into that. It's easy to enroll and uh, it gives you an opportunity to contribute in a way which is personal. Uh, I want to thank all the companies that support the foundation as well. We've gotten lots of industry support and companies that support us and I appreciate them. I appreciate the partnership we have with SCI. I appreciate the partnership we have with the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Uh, we have people here from the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, uh, from the Wild Turkey Federation. It's one of those organizations in CFS which is rare. So the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation is rare in that we're able to bring together many of these voices 
from the sporting community in a way unlike any other organization brings to bear. And so I appreciate that. And I appreciate those organizations that are part of this uh, and are helping us. The other thing that's critical about this is the foundation and Jeff and his team do a fantastic job ensuring that we have a bipartisan approach to legislation. Uh, I've worked around Washington, D.C. when I ran a Fortune 500 aerospace and defense company. I spent a lot of time on the Hill. Uh, we had full staffs of lobbyists and did a lot of work on legislation in aerospace and defense and space exploration. And as you know and as I know, nothing gets done unless there's a bipartisan element to it and we can get bipartisan support. And so that's an important part of the foundation and I appreciate Jeff and his team and the way that we work on both sides of the aisle to find common ground and find common issues around conservation, wildlife, and wild places. So I appreciate that and it's an important part of what we do. Uh, we have some champions of that with us tonight uh, who are here and are going to share some uh, thoughts with us, or at least we've had, you, had, you can have a chance to shake their hand and talk to them. Uh, Senator Lisa Murkowski from Alaska is here. We were just talking about hunting and fishing in her great state, and I went from north to south in that state in August as we chatted. And I wish I lived there, actually. I mean, Utah, which is pretty great outdoors, but it's the fish aren't this big, so it was fun. <laughs> and uh, we have Senator Heinrich here from New Mexico on the Democratic side of the aisle. So this is a great example. We have two senators here. One's a Republican, one's a Democrat. What do they have in common? These issues. And so my personal thanks to both of you for helping champion the Sportsman's Act and what we're trying to accomplish there. Uh, and we appreciate the fact that we can still come together on both sides of that aisle and get great work done. Uh, to protect this heritage. So thank you both uh, very much. Uh, last thing I want to say before we break up, uh, these events aren't possible without the support of people who open their wallets. So I would encourage you tonight at the auction to be liberal uh, with your wallet. And I encourage you as companies and as others to be liberal in your sustaining memberships uh, and whatnot for the foundation. And I also want to introduce to you uh, Larry Higgins, who is here for, as president of SCI, uh, who wants uh, to be an uh, ongoing supporter of ours, which we are very appreciative of. And I want to give Larry just, uh, just a minute here with the mic. To participate in this event again. Um, I couldn't agree with more with words that people have already spoken. It's always a pleasure to be part of anything that helps protect and support our outdoor heritage. And with that, on behalf of Safari Club International, Jeff, we would like to present you with our commitment for the coming year, and we want to thank you for all your Look at the cameras. One more here, guys. Safari Club International was here in 1989 when the foundation first started and they're still here today. So Larry, again, thank you and, and all the board members and uh, from Safari Club for this partnership that's lasted for 27 years and hopefully keeps on going. Um, I'm going to introduce our two leads in the Senate uh, on our bipartisan sportsman's bill. Uh, but I see Senator Steve Daines is here from, uh, from Montana. Thank you, Senator. and somebody that's really worked hard on this bill as well, so thank you for being here. Uh, five years ago, we had an idea to bundle a bunch of bills together and create a big sportsman's package, and seemed like a really great idea, you know? We're gonna get all this stuff together, everybody's gonna come together, we're gonna get the fishing guys, the hunting guys, the gun guys, the trapping guys, and every industry that makes the products that go along there, and we're gonna go up to the Bipartisan Sportsman's Caucus, and here we go. Well, we're five years down the track, and uh, you know things in Congress sometimes uh, have a weird way of coming off the rails. But uh, uh, I think that we have two really great champions at the beginning of this Congress. Uh, they got together uh, and decided that it was going to be a bipartisan effort, and that they were going to work on both sides of the aisle, uh, both sides of the Capitol, but we're going to stay with the Senate for right now, and work on both sides of the aisle to figure out how to make this happen. Because all of us in this room, I think, share my view that sportsmen's issues, conservation doesn't have a partisan tag. Uh, this town 
puts partisan tags on a lot of things. Uh, but this is one it shouldn't have it. And but, um, I'm not trying to steal their thunder, but between the two of them leading this effort in the Senate, we are closer now than we've ever been. So uh, I would like to introduce the chairwoman uh, from the Committee of Jurisdiction, the Committee on Energy and Natural Resources from Alaska, Lisa Murkowski, her bipartisan lead from New Mexico, uh, a hunting friend of mine, we spend time hunting and fishing together, uh, Martin Heinrich. So, Senators, if you would join me. Come on up, come on up here. I, I, I think this is the important part of, of this reception and the opportunity to give you a quick little update in terms of where we are with this third times the charm sportsman's bill. Yeah, where's a piece of wood? Somebody knock on some wood right now. But it's not about luck, it's about hard work. It's about commitment to, to a purpose. You all know that. Uh, but as Jeff has, has outlined and as Mark has noted, good things don't come about here in Washington unless you're able to work with one another. There is no political party that has the monopoly on the good ideas. There is no one side, one side that is right. It only comes together when you say, we want to accomplish something. We think it's good for the people that we work for. But it's going to require a little bit of give and a little bit of, of take. And that's what we did with this bipartisan sportsman's bill. And it started out with a name because there was some discussion about what should we call it and whose name goes first. Honest to gosh, <laughs> when you get into that kind of a mess, then you know it's going to, it's going to end up being, being more partisan. And so we said, you know what, we've, we've, we've been down this road twice before where we thought we were going to make some headway because these issues were just so good and rock solid. And then we got sidelined because of the politics. And Martin and I said, no, enough's enough. This is important to me. It's important to him. It's important to, to, to my sons. It's important to the people that I care about. And why don't we work to make it happen? And so long story short, 97 to 0, this amendment was adopted. And it speaks to the strength of the issues. It speaks to the strength of the effort that went into to making a package that was not going to sink. You know, I, I want to say uh, real quickly, if you're going to pick a bipartisan sponsor to work with, it's, it, it's smart to pick the chair of the relevant committee. <laughs> but, you know, when, when this bill came out of our committee, we did not have a unanimous vote. And I want to say thank you to all of you folks, because between that time and when we had it on the floor, uh, some, some folks changed their mind. And I, I have a feeling they may have heard from some of you in between. So that's really, I mean, I can't say enough for how hard uh, Senator Murkowski has worked on this, how well we've worked together. I think she's had the perfect combination of resoluteness when we needed it and flexibility when that's what it took to get us to move things down the road. Uh, but we've got this last hurdle and getting this on the floor and getting floor time means this has to be a priority for her leadership and for my leadership. And we're gonna need all of you one more time uh, to help us just press home how important this is. And uh, for those members that you know, for all those relationships you have, uh, for the concept of making sure your kids and your grandkids have those same experiences, uh, we're gonna need you one more time to get this across the finish line. And let me just add to that, we are, we are in conference right now with the energy bill. So the sportsman's, the bipartisan sportsman's package is part of that energy conference. So we've started that conference out. It's, it's, it's moving forward. There's a lot of negotiation. There's a lot of back and forth. And, and we are going to push to make it come together to, to get to that point where we do have something that not only can move out of conference, but that the president will sign. Because that's the goal here. It's not to send yet one more message about, oh, we want to be there for conservation. We want to be there for for the shooting sports, we want to be there for, for the wildlands. No, we want to do more than send a message. We want this enacted into law. 
And so Martin is right. We need your help to help us push it over the line. But I will hopefully leave you with a smile with one last comment. As we are debating the guts of this, of this energy bill, when we have people kind of getting soft on one issue or saying, I don't know that we want to go there on the other, we remind them and say, but don't forget this bipartisan sportsman's package that we all love, Republicans and Democrats, urban and rural, this bill, this package, is part of the energy bill. So help us with the rest of us. So instead, instead of, of being the, the drag, as sometimes legislation can be, I think the, the, the common purpose that so many of you have built is showing through. And I want to thank Martin for all that he has done to help us get us here. Uh, I don't have anything more to add to that, except let's get this done for our kids and their grandkids. And, and Let's, uh, let's get this to the president's desk, shall we? Well, we're, we're on board. We're here to help. So <laughs> <laughs> let us know what we can do. We are, you, you know. You've, you've canceled all your seasons this fall between now and. <laughs> are, are you, are you going to be here? If you're here, I'll be here. <laughs> Um, before I before I invite everybody to, to move downstairs, and there are bars down there, but more importantly, there's a lot of cool stuff from from the outdoor products world um, that we are raffling and auctioning and whatnot. Uh, I just want to recognize two other uh, elected officials that are here. You heard Mark talk about our network of state legislative caucuses, uh, and I'll just correct the number. I think you were thinking of two different numbers. We have 2,400 state legislators and 48 state caucuses. Uh, it's run uh, out of our office, but with the guidance of elected officials, uh, our first president of our executive committee in the back of the room from my home state of Maryland, Senator John Astle, thank you for your leadership. And your demonstrate that this idea of, of bipartisanship and a sportsman's caucus is alive beyond our borders from Canada joining us today is the, um, the, me the member of parliament who is the co-chair of the outdoor caucus uh, member of parliament Bob Zimmer thank you sir for people that care passionately about this but these are our champions this is their night to say thank you uh, for all that they do so thank you again senator thank you as well and folks enjoy yourself i'm going to start moving people downstairs though too with the bar still open thanks so much